Colin Goodman was diagnosed with MS in 2017. Five years on, he's about to embark on a huge challenge, running the length of Ireland in just nine days to raise funds for MS Society Research and a local MS centre. I spoke with Colin on his journey with MS and the extraordinary task he has ahead. So Colin, the the feat you're about to take on is amazing, having read up about it, running the whole length of Ireland. Could you first tell us a bit about your story, how you came to being diagnosed with MS? Um, I suppose in the early years I was playing football and I noticed I had double vision in one of my eyes. And uh, yeah, so I went to the doctor and he basically gave me, thought it was vertigo. So gave me tablets for vertigo and tablets didn't do anything, as, as you would well believe. And then I went to get an eye test and they sent me to the hospital which then they didn't discharge me from the first sort of appointment. A couple of months later, I went back to get an, get my second appointment and my eye was actually off the chart to the point where I had to do a test and take a wee ball over a circle. And I, it, wasn't, it wasn't even on the board. So it was actually completely off the chart. Um, went down to an eye specialist that day. There happened to be a neurologist in the hospital that day. And... Um, he basically there and then kind of said there's a fair chance this could be ms but it could be optic neuritis but um got an mri test went in and yeah basically the mri showed up that had lesions and that's breaking it down to as short as it possibly can ms can be daunting when first diagnosed however colin turned his diagnosis into a positive well at the stage when i was diagnosed i had three boys and i would have been working late into the evening doing design work and then getting up first thing at seven o'clock and going into work and really burning a ca candle at both ends and the kids were melting it in the middle. So, um, yeah, I, I suppose when I was diagnosed, I thought, flip, I'll take a step back and start looking after myself. So I completely changed my diet. I went to a paleo diet, which was quite extreme. And then that didn't really last. So then I started eating more healthy and over time, I've been chipping things off and I was vegan there for a long time, but I've reintroduced fish to this, doing this run because I was really lacking in protein. I was struggling to get protein in because I don't have my own personal chef to basically advise me and everything I should eat. So I just brought in a wee bit of um, fish, uh, basically well-sourced fish to sort of feed my protein. And I see the fish as being a bit of protein shake. So all in all... I didn't run before I was diagnosed, and since I was diagnosed, I've started running, started looking after myself, looking after my sleep, looking after my stress, looking after my lifestyle. So it's completely turned my life on its head, in a, for me, and I say this lightly, but in a really good way. It's great to hear that you've turned it into like a, a big, big positive. So the yeah. run, um, first of all, tell me about the cause uh, you're running for, and what what kind of challenges are you expecting to to have in the run? Because I mean, it's a massive massive feat. What kind of challenges are you expecting with with MS? Um, with MS, every day you don't know what's next. Tomorrow I could wake up and maybe feel a bit groggy, but I'm very very lucky. I'm currently on ocrelizumab or Ocrevus. Um, so I would go in every six months. Um. I don't I don't notice my I don't notice my um side effects or my issues or I don't feel like personally like I have MS. So I just keep doing the right thing, keep running. So I don't know how this run's going to affect me. Um and the challenges are the like anything, it's food and recovery. Um I'm I'm used to doing marathons. I've finished four. I'm pretty happy with that. But from four marathons to nine ultras in a row. It's a bit of it's a bit of a jump, I'm sure you'll believe. So I don't know what I'm I know it's gonna be a lot of pain. I know there's gonna be a lot of tiredness, but that just comes with doing these the, the stupid amount of miles back to back. Colin will be starting his run in the south of Ireland and working his way up the country. Here he is to explain his route. So the route I'm gonna start in the south at Mizenhead. Um the reason for that is because when I get up closer, I'm I, I live in Belfast, so 
I'll have maybe have more support towards the end. And that's when I'm going to probably need the support. So that's why I'm starting at the bottom and run my way up to the top. Um, so you're starting to miss in here and I run up through Limerick, Athlone, uh, through Enniskillen and then all the way up the mizzen head so that, that kind of gives you a rough sort of a rough sort of route of where I'm going and I hope to upload all my where I'm running on Facebook and uh, yeah it's it is, it is a mammoth task and I'm, as I say it's not about running it fast it's about finishing it and yeah it's just taking each day as it comes. Colin will be vlogging his experience and here's the man himself on where you can catch all the action and also giving thanks to those who've already sponsored and supported him. So I will be updating Facebook with, um, you can be, I'll send a link that I, you can actually track my run and I'll also be sharing the daily stuff that's happening on Facebook. My brother who support me has video equipment and he's into videography so he will actually be i was sending him footage and he'll be uploading it and keeping everything up to date so people can follow my journey on facebook instagram and i'll probably do it on strava as well um but yeah so he'll be feeding that with everything that's going on maybe some wee videos of me as a go but so not really about timing it's just completing the tasks completing the days and um yeah i've had amazing support from my company who I work for on track technicians and used cars and I who've both sponsored me for the run, um, sponsored me with trainers and bits and pieces and used cars and I gave me 500 pounds to spend towards hotels that I actually didn't need because I was able to get every single hotel for free. So, and people coming to run with me, it's absolutely, it's like a bit of a Forrest Gump story. It's <laughs> absolutely phenomenal whenever, I, I don't know, I think us Irish people are very, very friendly people. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's phenomenal to see the support and everyone who's coming out to support me. Colin has currently raised over £7,000 for MS Society Research and his local MS Centre. He spoke to me about the funds he's raising and why he's doing so. So, so far I've raised over £7,000 for MS Society, but a lot of that's going towards research. So uh, I might do 10% towards the local um, MS Centre um to give them a bit of support to give the guys in the local area because during covid they lost a lot of their like sort of house care and a lot of their um what do you call it exercise programs they would have done like yoga and you know breathing and whatever so i'm going to give them a portion of money to try and get them up and running and help people back again you know in the areas you can support colin's journey using the links below including the link to donate and the link to his Facebook page where he'll be posting updates from his run.